sound travels in the form of waves, which move at 768 miles per hour through air. Sound waves are not like the type of waves that go up and down, like water waves, but instead travel by compressing the air in front of them. This compression provides variations of pressure in the air. Sound waves are created by the vibration of an object, which causes the air surrounding it to vibrate. The vibrating air then causes the human eardrum to vibrate, which the brain interprets as sound. In this exhibit, a series of tubes channel these waves of sound so that they travel without much disruption and follow the path laid out by the tubes. Please note that if you speak into one end of this tube system, the sound emerges from the other end. In the case of the tube, the sound waves are confined within the interior of the tube. Think of it as a column of air. By speaking into one end, the sound wave pushes the air along the column, allowing the sound wave to travel to the other end. If you notice, there are four openings in these tubes. The lower openings are at child level, and the higher openings are for taller individuals. Due to the close proximity of the openings at each side, there is little disruption, and the sound continues to the opposite end of the display. The principle is similar to the old game that children play, where two soup cans are connected by a length of string. Vibrations from one can are transmitted to the other can in a process that is similar to the simplest, earliest form of distance communication. This works best with a tight string, as it transmits the vibrations most easily. You probably cannot construct a tube system like this one at home, but you might have fun building the soup can phone. <laughs>